Hey everyone, happy Thursday. It is Connor here and I am back for some candle reviews today. I've got three brand new candle reviews all from Kringle Candle and these are all a part of the holiday new line for 2022. So super, super exciting. The first one here I have is Winter Evergreen and it is in the large jar. Just a disclaimer, Kringle Candle did send me this one as PR, so I always let you guys know if I'm sent something or if I bought it, and this one I was sent. So just to let you know that. Also to let you know, Kringle is currently sold out of this one in the medium jar and in the daylight. So you can get it in the large jar, which is what you're looking at, or you can get it in the three wick new 100% soy candle. Um, both of those options are available, but the daylight and the medium are out of stock. But anyways, I'm super excited to get into this candle and the other candles for today. I do have a little complaint with this one, which is kind of unfortunate, but I'll get into that at the end of the video. We're going to start off here with the description in the notes. So the description says, winter evergreen, the essence of a winter woods is captured by fir balsam, musk and cedarwood and lifted with bright notes of pineapple and rosemary. So this one has top notes of sparkling adelides, pineapple and mid notes of fir and rosemary and then base notes of, here's that word again that I have no idea how to say, guwakiak wood. Someone in my comments told me how to say it and I forget how you say it but it's spelled g-u-a-i-a-c wood and then musk and cedar wood as well. So um, let's just dive right into the notes. So this is definitely an evergreen type of scent and you can tell by the name and the label. It is a really pretty label. I love the label. It's just like a snowy winter wonderland with some trees and it's just really pretty. This one definitely is, you know, your Christmas tree scent for the line. It's got the cedar wood it's got some um musk to it it's got some pine in there it's really really nice and if you like a juniper and laurel type of scent or like the balsam and cedar and balsam fir if you like those types of scents this is definitely your scent to go to for this new collection it has some really interesting notes in here that I do want to touch on, specifically rosemary and pineapple. So I really don't pick up either of these notes, to be honest with you. I think that they were kind of thrown in there just to like sweeten it up a little, because I do think that this is more of a sweet tree scent compared to like a super musky and outdoorsy tree scent. But um, I think that those were just like thrown in there to kind of like sweeten it up a little. But other than that, I really do get like the woodsiness from this one with the cedar wood and that Gawakiak wood, however you say it. And then the musk as well. There is a fir note in there that I definitely pick up. And it's just a really nice tree scent altogether. And I really enjoyed it. It's definitely one of my favorite ones from the line because I do love a good... Christmas tree type of scent. So this is a really good smell if you like those, uh, you know, winter tree scents. But let's go ahead and get into the performance real quick because this is what I wanted to touch on with you guys. So um, you guys know how I always rave about Kringle having really, really clean burns and, um, you know, good wicks, no dirty candles. This one is being a little sooty on me and I kind of noticed it for the first um, burn and I was like, oh, that's weird. So then I trimmed the wicks, but it just kept happening and I'm about midway through the burn, as you can see. I don't know if you guys can really pick this up on the camera, but there's definitely like a rim on the top of black soot and it's not terrible. But like, I'll just show you guys my finger. I'm going to rub it as you can see there. There's definitely some black stuff on my finger. I'm just going to wash that off after the video. 
But, um, you know, this one is giving me a little bit of a dirtier burn at the top. The wax is still really clear. Let me show you guys the wax. The wax is still super clean, but as you can see, it's got some black on the top, which is not typical for Kringle, um, which is kind of unfortunate. But I do know that some scents just perform different than others. And you know there's no perfect company and companies are gonna make mistakes and there's gonna be candles that are duds or you know don't perform correctly and there's gonna be minor issues that you're gonna get every once in a while and that's normal for our company so i'm definitely not just gonna like stop purchasing from kringle because of this um because if i did that for every company i would no longer be buying Kring our candles because there are so many different issues that you can run into and it's normal for that to happen. Um, so I just did want to point that out and I totally could have gotten a dud, but mine is being a little bit dirty and sooty for me. Um, but this is the only one out of, how many have I tested so far? I've got this one, I've got another one burning in there and then I was burning two more earlier this week so i burned four of them so far and this is the only one that i've had the problem for so it could totally be like the chemical makeup of this candle and like the oils that are in it and i know that some scents you know are lighter than others and some might you know give soot so it kind of all depends on that and i'm honestly not a genius at that and i'm not going to act like i am because i really have no idea but I do know that sometimes, you know, some candle scents are just dirtier than others. So like I said, I'm definitely not gonna, you know, stop purchasing from Kringle. I do think that it's unfortunate that this one's sooty a little. If it does continue, I may end up crocking it. But just a little soot I'm okay with. But when it gets to be very, very dirty and messy, I just don't like that because it makes me uncomfortable looking at it and being like, that is what I'm breathing in. So that is just my one little thing with this one. But other than that, this one's actually been performing really well, specifically the throw for me. Um, the strength is really nice and then the throw it's probably like a six or seven and I have it here in the entryway of our house and it is totally like climbing up the stairs and it's really, it's a good throw. It's definitely traveling and it's a nice scent for the holidays and a really nice welcoming scent. So I can give it that, that has some really good throw. And like I showed you guys earlier, this one still has a really clean burn as you can see. Um, so really no issues with that. And the wicks are fantastic as always. So my only problem for this one was the sooting, but um, I'm hoping that that will clear up a little. But like I said, I do just always want to be honest with you guys. Um, and I'm a Craigle Candle ambassador and I can call out a company when they have a mistake. And, you know, that's the part of being an honest reviewer because there are some reviewers who would not let you guys see that. But I really want to be upfront and honest with you guys about how a candle's performing, especially because I was sent this candle. I didn't spend my own money on it. I was sent this candle. So I just wanna be honest with you guys on how it really is performing and what I think of it. So beautiful scent, good performance other than some sooting. Um, so yeah, this one has a really good throw and I would say it is a success. I would definitely repurchase this one again. There are so many tree scents out there but this is definitely one that I would repurchase if it, you know, was on a really good sale. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this scent. Um, just to let you guys know, like I said, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. So you can use my code Connor Loves Candles to get 15% off of your order. Um, I'm filming this one on the 1st of November and it's going to come out on Thursday. So I'm filming it on Tuesday. So as of right now, there's no Christmas candle sale, but I'm sure in the few upcoming weeks, these are going to be going on sale. So as always, just be on the lookout for a good sale with these. There are a few other things on sale if you're interested in picking up, but you can always use my code Connor Loves Candles to get 15% off your order. I will link down below the link for to shop Kringle Candle as well as the code to get the 15% off. And like I did say, this one is sold out in the medium jars in the daylight, but it's available in the large jar, which is the one that you're looking at, and then also available in the new 100% soy wax three wick. 
So yeah, that is my thoughts on Winter Evergreen. I will be back in a few hours with two more Kringle Candle reviews to share with you guys, and I will see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to help support my channel, and I'll see you all later. Bye!